Hey guys and welcome back. So a lot of time have passed since we talked the last time and many things have changed but the biggest one is yet to come and I am basically talking about the release of the Zabbix 6.0 and it is not just a new version with a lot of great functionality as usually there is but it is also LTS version which means that it will be supported for the next five years and before that right now we have Zabbix 5.4 before that we had Zabbix 5.2 and the pre previous LTS version was 5.0, which was pretty a long time ago, which leads us to one simple thing that we need to keep in mind. And the special thing that we need to talk about is an upgrade, because of course, daily, there are a lot of users who are just downloading the Zabbix for the first time and just starting to using this. But since we're talking about LTS version, we also need to cover those, let's say, conservative and enterprise uh, companies and Zabbix users that are strictly staying on LTS releases just for the sake of again safety and long-term support not jumping across uh, different versions just to avoid some potential trouble that they may may have so right now they are potentially sitting on a zabbix 5.0 and since the release of 6.0 is basically just around the corner they are planning to upgrade from their existing 5.0 to the 6.0 which may and most likely will cause a little bit of trouble or just the complexity in the upgrade path. And since we're talking about the operating system, then of course the complexity is related to that. So Zabbix 5.0 fully supported the CentOS 7, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, which no doubt was one of the most popular operating system distributions for the Zabbix usage. And if you are using like the recent uh, major releases, but not the LTS ones like 5.2, 5.4, then you already know that Zabbix topped support of CentOS 7, Red Hat, 7 starting with a Zabbix 5.2 which leads to the simple thing like if you have a Zabbix 5.0 at the moment and you are planning to upgrade to the Zabbix 6.0 LTS 99% that you'll also have to upgrade your operating system because if you'll go to the Zabbix.com download section you can see the 6.0 pre-release and you see that for operating system Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS version 7 you will not find and you will not get anywhere uh, packages for this distribution so you need to target only for the version 8 and as you know there is no simple way to do the upgrade of distribution of CentOS or Red Hat so basically you will have to prepare a new virtual or physical machine with supported operating system and you can find all the supported operating systems of course in the documentation and also in a Zabbix blog page there is a perfect blog post which basically covers the same stuff that I'm talking right now a guide to migrating the Zabbix 6.0 LTS which is a speech from Edgar in the last Zabbix summit and we're looking at the supported operating system and this is the list that it's gonna be supported so RHEL, CentOS, Oracle, Linux 8, Ubuntu 18, not my flavor, Debian 10, same and uh, CS Linux Enterprise Server, um, absolutely not, not like it and uh, will not suggest it to anyone so I personally prefer the Red Hat, CentOS or Oracle Linux. Okay then, so now we know that aside of just an upgrading Zabbix server as we're used to, we also have to migrate all our existing installation to the new operating systems. Which one, you may ask, like CentOS or... No, CentOS probably not because it's going to be not supported. Already is probably at the moment when recording the video, so CentOS 8. Uh, Red Hat paid product right subscription price and also if you're using uh, high availability with not native support that is coming in a Zabbix 6.0 but uh, the usual Linux utility with a PCS Kerasync you also need to purchase additional license from Red Hat to use these utilities if you're using Oracle Linux 8 everything comes uh, right out of the box you don't need to pay anything additionally and uh, I don't know if you would ask personally me I would personally go with the Oracle Linux 8 but it up to you if you like something else from the list mention it here you of course can do that so when we decided which operating system we're going to use so let's say it's going to be Oracle Linux 8 we just need to do the clean installation of the operating system the word migration may sound a bit scary but actually it's 
no need to be worried about. You just installed the clean installation of your Oracle Linux 8 or any other distribution that is supported. As usually, apply all the tweaks for the performance and then we can start to think about moving our Zabbix components that we need to move. But what do we exactly need to move? Let's say if previously we had um, Zabbix server on one machine and uh, pardon for uh, beautiful drawings on the second uh, machine and let's say we here on a Zabbix server machine had also the front end. So this one is not going to be supported anymore, right? We cannot run this one. So we install a new uh, Oracle Linux 8 machine and all we have to do is just no need to move anything from the old machine aside like configuration files and scripts Zabbix stays there where it was here we just install the fresh packages from the Zabbix.com download the packages for Oracle Linux 8 install them from the scratch uh, apply the same configuration parameters that we had on old machine copy paste the scripts if you had them again some sort of customizations or I don't know backup jobs or whatever else so what happens with the database if it was outside on a separate machine, may it be virtual or physical one, and if the database version is supported in a Zabbix 6.0, please pay attention also to the supported database versions because those are also changing, then we can even avoid this step. We can leave the database server where it was. So basically our only upgrade path and upgrade uh, migration um, operation would be to install a fresh Oracle Linux 8 install Zabbix 6.0 from the packages as a clean installation, copy paste the configuration files, scripts, and point it to our existing database server. Start it and then it will automatically upgrade the database. And voila, you have uh, the Zabbix 6.0 LTS, everything is running. Another story is like if, let's say, um, you need to upgrade also the database. So I don't know, you decide to move all your Zabbix infrastructure from, uh, let's say Zabbix server from uh, CentOS 7 and uh, database is also on the CentOS 7 and you don't like that. So you decide to move them to uh, Oracle Linux 8. And let's say database is also going to be on the Oracle Linux 8. So this part about the Zabbix server we already covered. What about database? Again, everything is extremely easy. Right now at the beginning, you need to leave this existing Zabbix uh, database where it is. You again install a fresh server, fresh Linux, uh, Oracle Linux 8. Uh, install a fresh database, maybe the MySQL or the Postgres. I do recommend to use uh, uh, recent versions of the database engine, not something old one. Um, also use the repository of the database vendor. Don't just yum install uh, MySQL or just yum install Postgres because the version uh, contained in official Oracle Linux or whatever else repository might not be up to date. So install a fresh database server. Then what we do with this one, we take database backup. So just uh, MySQL dump or Postgres backup or whatever else, just copy paste to the new server and restore restore inside a new database. And right now this new database on the work Linux 8 is basically identical as a previous one on a CentOS 7. And same story, uh, we take the Zabbix server uh, 6.0 pointed to our new database server on a work Linux 8 and let the Zabbix server automatically upgrade uh, database to the 6.0. So that basically is all the migration part and uh, it is easy. I don't know if I've, I've missed something, just ask me in the comments. I will try to help you, but uh, I think it's good enough. The biggest problem most likely will be, will be coming from uh, management perspective and uh, the maintenance periods because we are moving operating system. We might need some new licenses if let's say we're using the Red Hat. So additional money has to be spent. We need to build new servers. But in terms of operations like uh, the operational steps themselves, migration and the upgrade path is pretty simple. Just again, read, read the notes and read what is supported because since this is LTS version and it has to be supported for the next five years, we did up the supported versions of the 
distributions, the databases, just to make sure that we are up to date with everything that is currently available in the market and that we don't uh, basically don't allow our users to use uh, deprecated old um, operating systems that do not contain up-to-date libraries with already fixed security issues and stuff like that. And the same applies on the database. So thank you guys for watching. If you still have any questions, um, don't hesitate to point them in the comments. Again, I will try to answer as soon as I can. So thank you and goodbye.